So let's talk about a uh, lifestyle when we're talking about hemorrhoids. I'm actually on my way to the gym. And uh, I am not a young man, but I'm not an old man. Uh, I'm right in the middle. 45 years old. And even when I go to the gym, even being, uh, even when you think you're being super healthy, you can still be hurting yourself and causing hemorrhoids. If you are someone that goes out, exercises, lifts heavy, uh, if anybody ever comes up to me and says, how much do you bench press? I, I have no idea, nor do I try to see. That's a young man's game. When I was 25, 26, I could tell you what I benched. Right now, I have no clue. Um, and I know and maybe Bob watches this, but Bob, uh, he's, in, he's in this lovely, beautiful state of Florida as well. And uh, he's a trainer. And, you know, I asked him, it was kind of funny because like, I'm feeling better, man, but I'm not all the way there. And I'm like, well, what do you, like how much, when you squat, what are you squatting? He's like nearly 500. And I'm like, what are you benching? He's like 400 and some pounds. I'm like, bro, that's fantastic. Very, very strong individual. But you know, you gotta go down and go to volume and see if that can help a little bit, you know? And then we started talking about drink. He was uh, pounding, and I'm not calling Bob out here, but it's like, we all have this stuff. That's my point. You know, he's hammering bang energy drinks in the morning. And I think he just has one, but like all the stuff that's in there, you know, the sugar, all of that can cause flare ups. Like anything that causes inflammation in your system. Just think of like, I always, you know, and I have customers too that they get hemorrhoids the second they, like they have very stressful jobs. Got a couple of guys up in New York that are financial people, like big time, you know, they're moving a lot of money around. And when, you know, S hits the fan, their stress levels get nutty. They're like, I got my hemorrhoids. You know, I think they might be coming back. You know, what do I do? I'm like, well, just, you know, start taking some now. You know, because that's what's called the stress is causing your inflammation, right? So I always tell people like a good idea is if you really want to get into it, because then a lot of people like, look, at, there's nothing that I'm doing. And you might just be tall, tall people, if you are, are poor circulation. And if you have poor circulation, you could be living, doing everything right. But, you know, if it is poor circulation, you can either try Hem Heal or Defend, what, what we have, or you can just take vitamin C, see if that works for you. There, there's options out there for you to get healthy uh, and feel better, you know. And, and I know, too, with, with better health flow, like if, if you got, if you get, like, varicose veins or you get, like, a lot of veins showing, uh, you know, even as a guy would get them, too, then that's that can kind of let you know. I'm not a doctor, but that can let you know that, hey, maybe... I've got some problems in that area. So uh, with a little low, circuit, uh, low blood flow. So there's all these different things that are factors, right? And we have to do our best. Like my product, if you try to hem healer, it works great. It kills the game. But it's always about up in that lifestyle a little bit. I look at life in the sense of like, as I get older, you know, you know, we all, we're, if you're my age or older, you know, the body starts to, it's in its breaking down phase, right? I got maybe 87 uh, hairs in my beard that aren't white. So it's like, I'm in my process of, of uh, getting ready to leave this earth. Uh, not to sound too morbid, but it's like I have to make sure that I'm doing the things so that I can still, uh, you know, live and be the way I want. And that takes a lot more effort than it did 20 years ago for me. So uh, my, my big push always is for everybody too, is just like any, like just a, a, just an extra, you know, a few steps on a walk, you know, uh, maybe like, look, there's a, this McDonald's right here. I guarantee you, I visit this thing twice a week. But what I always get is I get two double hamburgers. I don't want the cheese, extra pickles. And, uh, and that's it, that's my thing. No French fries, uh, you know, no chicken nuggets, nothing like that. I used to love those all the time. I used to eat, I could eat those 20 packs all day. <laughs> like a small bag of popcorn, man. I can, I can, if I want to sit and eat, I can eat. And, uh, you know, so I still get the things that I like to have, but I'm just like, and look, I get it. McDonald's French fries dipped in sweet and sour sauce quite might be one of the greatest things that's ever been best combo in the world, but I can't do that anymore, you know, or I'll leave it maybe for like a once a month thing or whatever. I'm out with my nephews and we're going to McDonald's. I don't know. But, um, for the most part, I'm always telling people like tweak. If you've got a sweet tooth, you know, I have a huge sweet tooth. I tell this people the trick all the time too. I'll give you a couple of tricks. One is like, there's some really good bars. Like, look, they're going to be heavy calorie, 
but they're gonna be low sugar, high fat, right? And if you get the good fats, fat's actually really good for your joints, it's, it's you know, lubricates the system. So I switch, um, and I even give myself one cheat meal. A lot of times in the cheat meal, when I wanna get like a piece of cake or, because I'll sit, I'll eat a whole pie, but it's, I'll go and get two of that uh, Rick Bronger's, whatever its name is, of the uh, protein bars. Man, are they good. And I'll just have that. That's That gives me 60 gram of protein, so I'm happy for like my exercise, and I'm not just dousing myself in, in refined sugars. So it's all those things. The other cool thing, and man, we'll, we'll talk about that on a later video, but uh, water. So like, my wife bought me this huge thing and I gotta drink three of these a day. I don't drink anywhere near three. I get about one and a half in, but it's huge. It's big, big, big. So I just have one of these. So I always have it with me so I know, hey, it's time to uh, hydrate a little bit. This thing's half full right now and I gotta get through it here tonight. Um, but get those, a lot of people don't like water. I'm like one of those guys, I, if it's just straight water, I don't know, I can't do it. But those little things they got at the grocery store now, that you just squirt into the water. Man, oh man, uh, those make uh, life worth living again. And you can also get them with vitamins and stuff in them. So there's a lot of things you can do there on that on that as well. Well, I've made it to the gym and uh, any questions, any comments like that, just leave them below. If you're new to the channel, click, hit subscribe. We, we, got, we talk a lot about this. Even if you don't buy Hem Healer, you're not a customer of mine, I don't care. Uh, I try to put out as much information as I can, you know, because a lot of times too, like I'll even watch some of the stuff, like the doctors uh, that talk about hemorrhoids on YouTube and stuff. And a lot of times they, they miss on some things because, you know, some of them just haven't suffered and been through what we've been through. So uh, anyways, that's that. Hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff.